This novel is about the Burton family, uh, very much in the 1% club uh, economically. Carter Burton, who is an investment banker, suddenly loses his shirt and is in terrible debt. So their lives are turned upside down by the financial crisis. And each of the characters has to deal with that. They have to struggle with what's next? How are they going to live? And um, how are they going to restore the life that they love, the life that they feel they're entitled to? So Carter's the key or pivotal character in this story. He takes risks. He's intelligent. Um, but he's also delusional. Um, he moves the novel. He's the energy in the novel. He is the character from whom all of the other characters are motivated and act as they do. One of my favorite characters in this novel is Charles Underwood Bailey II, also known as Cubes. Um, he's failed to meet his father's expectations and as a result is on the outs. He's living where he can, supporting himself uh, by selling dime bags over at the high school and uh, essentially looking at the life that surrounds him, the bubble that he's in from the outside, and realizing its limitations, understanding its fraud, and trying in his own way to find something different. The hardest part for me in writing a novel was just believing that I could do it. I had never written a novel before. Uh, this started as a short story, and uh, I had some suggestions when I brought the story to various workshops that it could be expanded and made into something uh, much more elaborate with Carter as the main character. If I have any expectations for the book at all, it's that friends, family, read it, and then refer their friends and families to read it as well. Um, I think it's a pretty good first attempt. I think the story is interesting and gripping enough that it will hold people who, who read it. For me, um, it's a beginning. It's an opportunity to continue writing and experimenting.